Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video on my complete hair care routine that I'm currently using and I hope this helps you out if you have curls or waves or if you're just looking for a different routine, I hope this helps you out. For the first thing I'm going to start out with the shower um, is the generic value products that I get at Sally Beauty. It's the shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner is compared to the Paul Mitchell. It's the lavender mint moisturizing conditioner. It's the tea tree oil lavender conditioner. I love this. It smells so good. It's so relaxing. You know, either if you take a shower at the end of the day or the morning, it just gets you ready and it just feels so relaxed. So the smell is to die for. Um, and then the shampoo is the Matrix Biolage and I just, it's just the pair go together and they're, they work so well together. The shampoo just really lathers up nicely and the conditioner is really creamy. So the first thing I do, of course, is I shampoo, and you mainly just stick with the top of your head. I don't go to the ends, there's no need to, because um, the oils usually don't get down there. So I just stick with a little bit, it goes a long way, and um, you just scrub out the oils in your head. You rinse that out, and then I get a nice portion of the conditioner, and I do a little bit on my head, I pat it down, and then I like to swish it in between the ends of my hair and really get it in there so it's moisturized. You want to wet it down so that your hair is nice and sort of seaweed feeling and then this is when you're going to go in with your wide tooth comb. I got this at Sally Beauty for under a dollar and I like to split my hair in half and then just work my way from the ends up until it's smooth also using your fingers. If you want to just use your fingers go for it because it's better for it and um, if it starts to get dry you want to make sure that you get it wet and constantly if you need more conditioner get more conditioner because the more moisturized it is the easier it is to detangle your hair and this conditioner really does help with con uh, tangles, um, that's what, another reason that I do love it. So after you're done detangling, you just want to put it up with a nice clip. This one's broken, of course, and I just have a new one. So you just want to put it up and let it soak in your hair for a while, you know. Get ready, or uh, get the rest of your, your showering done. And then at the end, you just want to rinse it out. Um, I like to leave a little bit in. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. You know, different hair types, try out what you like. Because um, it doesn't want, you don't want it to be too uh, sticky or thick if you have thin hair like I do. Um, either you can uh, leave a little bit in, you can add a little bit, or you can take it all out and use a conditioner after you get out of the shower. So when you're getting out of the shower, put it back in the clip while it's like soaking wet. I mean, if you don't want to be drenching, get a little bit out, but you do want to have it moist so that when you put in your products, it sort of makes a squishy sound and it really gets in there. Don't ever put a regular towel on your head. You, it creates frizz, your hair attaches to it. it for me personally, it doesn't work, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if it works for you, that's great. Um, but it, the reason maybe that you're having frizzy hair is because you're using a regular towel and it's catching onto the fibers in it. So I'd recommend just putting it up in a clip while it's wet, and um, I'll get I'll get later to what you do for drying. So now that you're back in your room or wherever. Um, your hair is up in the clip. You want to put, I like to put a deep conditioner in back in to rehydrate it. It helps with the frizz. Um, so what I do is I reattach it. I flip my hair over and it helps give me a little volume. You can either push it to the side if you want to do that, but I like to put it upside down. So I just put a nice amount in my hand. I flip my hair over and I run my fingers through it and I just get the conditioner nice up in there. Don't go too close to the scalp because it will become thick. So leave it towards the ends and just really just work in the conditioner to give it that extra moisture, especially during the winter when you lose a lot of that moisture in your hair. It's really good to put this back in. So now that you're done putting the deep conditioner in, you can go in with a nice product. Um, I usually, this is what I've gone to for the last couple years. This is the Catwalk Curls Rock Curl Amplifier. I got this as the uh, knockoff, the trend starter, which is you know, like $10 cheaper, which is amazing. And it's a really nice cream and it smells really, really good. Um, if you can afford the Curls Rock, go for it. But if you can get the knockoff, it's exactly the same thing. Um, during the winter times when I do diffuse my hair, I like to use something a little bit thicker. This is the Mousse Dove Hair Therapy Styling Care. It comes out like a whipped mousse. It really does, and it's nice and thick. So you don't need a lot. So I just put in a little bit on my hand, I push it through, and this is the time that I'm going to scrunch. When you put in the moisturizer, I like to just run my fingers through and just make sure every strand is coated. So when you do the mousse or the cream or the gel or whatever you like to use, this is the time that you're going to scrunch and you're really going to define your curls. Um, so sometimes I like to, I just, I'm going to do it now. Um, sometimes I just like to put my head upside down and I grab it in a bunch like you're going to put a ponytail in. 
and this is when you can just scrunch and really get those bottom curls to just get defined and up here is you know for me it does it tends to just droop during the day so I don't really have to worry about putting the curls back in so just working on the bottom curls um, whether you go upside down or on the bottom you know just define them and really when it's wet and you have that moisture in there it's really easy to make your curls the way you want to you can pull out chunks you can twist them with your hands and it really helps with that process so once you're done putting in your moisturizers your conditioners and all that good stuff your hair is still sopping wet and this is the time that I said that you don't want to use a regular towel because it does connect to your fi the fibers and your hair gets frizzy and nobody wants that. Um, so I would recommend either using a microfiber cloth um, or something along the lines of this. Uh, this is the Curls Like Us. I got this on an online store. It is 100% cotton and it's... It came in a pack of two. I can't really remember how much it was, but I will definitely link it down below because I love this thing. This thing is amazing. And it's um, it's sort of like you just put your hand on either side. So it's sort of like a muff. <laughs> and you can just keep rotating. Like you scrunch and then you rotate to a drier side. And it just, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing product. So you just go in, you scrunch, and you go around. And it doesn't completely dry your hair, but it really gets a lot of the moisture out and it keeps the creams and the curls and everything just works really well together. If you used a regular towel, it would just suck, suck up all your product and then there would just be no point. So I would really recommend checking these things out and or getting something 100% cotton like um, an old t-shirt if you have one. But I'd recommend using that for the plop. <laughs> After you're done drying your hair with the cloth, you want to go in and whether your hair is upside down like I do or to the side, you want to do how I did in my plot video which I will link down below, um, but you just want an old t-shirt and you want to be able to put your hair up because you have your product in and you want to be able to put your makeup on and have your hair dry a little bit before you dry it. Um, if you don't want to plop it, that's okay. You can go straight into drying. Um, either you can let it air dry, which is the best for your hair because it helps with split ends and all the good stuff. I mean, you know the facts. But if you wanted to dry it, you can use a diffuser, which is the best possible way for curls. Um, a diffuser is just like this little fun thing. It helps the airflow a little bit softer on the curls instead of like real dense and then your hair is going everywhere. Um, it's just like an attachment. Um, I know some attachments are only made for certain appliances, meaning <laughs> a hair dryer. Um, this is just a generic Conair Ion Shine 1875. I got this at Target and it's perfectly fine. I, I mean, I don't know. It was under $20, I know that. And being in a college budget, I mean, it works. <laughs> um, but this was just what it came with. It also came with one of those flat ones you can use to dry your hair. Besides the point, uh, it's just a diffuser and I know there's add-ons so if you already have uh, a blow dryer and you don't want to spend all the money just for another diffuser, I know there's add-ons so you can fit it. So hopefully it fits for you and you can find one. I'm, they're everywhere. Um, so I'd really recommend a diffuser to put on the end of your blow dryer. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below for me and you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I finally made a Facebook page so you can go ahead and like me on there as well. One of the main things that I wanted to state in this video is that a hair care routine doesn't necessarily work for everyone the exact same way. I know when I was first starting out with my curls and trying to figure them out, I watched a bunch of videos and I was like, how come it's not working for me? You know, it's, it's based on your hair, it's based on your environment, your climate, and all that stuff. So take all that in consideration, try out some things, trial and error, and figure out what works for you. And I hope that anything I have in this video you'll try out, whether you're looking into it or just looking for another product for you if we have similar hair types. I really hope that something jumps out and helps you out. Um, you can also leave me a comment, questions down below, I'd love to answer them if you have any.